Thing now it's a project 10 years in the making to protect a part of Tucson plagued by flooding in years past. The Elvado Wash Storm Drain Project is nearing completion with the end result protecting buildings and residents in Elvira and Barrio Nepal in the neighborhoods that's near TIA. Now this is video from severe flooding that hit the area in the summer of 2014. 13 News reporter Katherine Patterson shares with us more on how the main goal of the project is to create a path for stormwater, but its benefits go beyond just flood protection. This area of Tucson is unique because it's sandwiched in between the freeway and the Tucson International Airport, and that leaves a lot of residents here vulnerable to dangerous circumstances. Agustin Jimenez used to pray for dry days in this part of town. Flooding our buildings and, and the wash bringing a lot of tires and a lot of garbage and a lot of things that we didn't have really the means to clean all of that. But now he celebrates the rain. The Elvado Wash Storm Drain Project has created a new path for that storm water and using it to provide needed water to desert plants. I think we've been fed a story that having green grass and trees that don't do well with drought is what's ideal, but we live in the desert and we should embrace it. Now, one of the things that makes this park so unique are plants like these. Now, this is a fig tree, and once the fruits are ready, community members are welcome and even encouraged to pick them. You need some oregano to cook. Yeah, sure, you can go to your neighbor's house, but maybe now you can just come across the street and pick it yourself. The overall goal for this project is creating not only a sense of safety, but another tool to build community and one that has been historically underserved. The whole neighborhood, which is Elvira neighborhood, they come together, you know, having uh, different activities in this area and just come and relax where you're reading, just hearing the birds and the woodpeckers and things like that. Now community leaders tell me that they're excited about this new maintenance plan that they've made to make sure that residents can enjoy the beauty now and in the future. Reporting in Tucson, Katherine Patterson, 13 News.